All right, the next form of innovation that we're gonna look at is called nasotracheal innovation. Um, this is a very rare form of innovation that we'd use mostly in trauma. Um, some things that we have to make sure for our patient is there cannot be any head trauma. So we do worry about facial trauma. And our main concern is that if they have a basilar skull fracture, if we introduce this into the nose, we could actually go through the base of the skull into the cranium. Um, so this should be a non-head trauma patient. They also have to be breathing. When we insert this tube in, and we pass through the epiglottis, we actually need them to be inhaling so that epiglottis is lifted out of the way because this is a blind insertion. So this is why it's very rarely used. Um, I personally do not have this in my protocol to use this, but it's a good skill to have just kind of keep in the back of your, um, in your pocket to use if you had a certain trauma that this could work. So all you do for this patient um, and this is when we could not visualize an airway, whether it be some kind of bleeding coming out of the mouth, some kind of trauma, but they are having spontaneous respirations. We're gonna introduce the tube. Typically we try to use the right nair, but you can use either side. But the reason the right nair is just easier is that we want the bevel of the ET tube sticking in that nostril. I do, before we started filming, I like to bend my tube a little bit, give it a little bit of give so it goes in easier and make sure you lube the distal end of your tube. You're gonna insert this just like an NPA, and I actually put the patient's head down in neutral position, and you'll feel it stop moving. Um, I have seen these go all the way down in to the connector. Um, you could end up in the right main stem if you do that, but you would just pull back a little bit, so that's okay as well. You're gonna inflate your balloon, and then go ahead and start ventilating your patient. Oh. We're gonna check just like we would a regular innovation. We would have condensation in the tube. We're gonna listen for lung sounds, make sure we have no sounds over the epigastrum. And of course, put on your waveform capnography because that is 100% um, telltale if you do have a good airway. And you'd ventilate once every six seconds, just like a regular innovation. Now you can't secure this with your commercial tube device. Um, so you would have to get a little creative. My hands are all covered in loops, so I can't get that off. <laughs> um, what we could do for this patient is take tape, wrap it around the tube and then tape it to their face would probably be the best way. But you do wanna secure this somehow. So you probably just have to use a lot of tape to secure this to their face, kind of like you would an NG tube.